WHO 13's Roger Riley was taking in all of the sights and sounds today as we wind down through the final weekend. Roger, I know you saw a lot of big animals and uh, a lot of weather. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, you think the State Fair can't get any more exciting. Well, it did today, uh, about an hour ago. It was pretty exciting here uh, with all the weather moving in. But it's always fun to watch uh, here at the fair with students who are showing their animals. And this morning in the goat barn area, there was a senior showmanship. The handlers were asked to handle goats other than their own. And also they were tested on the knowledge they have about goats and the goat industry in general. I've been doing it for a while. I. Grandpa started out a long time ago and he's had him, so I got thrown in probably around six. I've been helping him ever since. Now in the Jacobson Exhibition Center, the Clydesdales and the Percherons, both giant horses, were competing at the same time. The horses come from all over. I talked to a gentleman from Michigan who brings his Percherons to the Iowa State Fair every year. This is a three-year-old man. Ginger is her name. Okay. She she drives and shows. And so Percherons. Do Percherons. You love the Percherons. Yep. Got 17 of them. Why do you love them so much? Yeah, they're just nice horses to work with. Yep. I hear they're really gentle. Or... For the most part, you always get a bad apple, but for the most part, they're very gentle. And this is the Iowa State Fair biggest bull. His name is Albert, and he's from Audubon. He tips the scale just over 3,000 pounds. He finished runner-up last year, so, and he's no relation to the giant bull Albert, the bull in Audubon, where he's from. Owner Randy Dreher thinks that maybe he might have to have a photo with this Albert and the statue together. And also, I got to meet Pee Wee. He wasn't too excited, the Iowa State Fair's biggest boar. He tips the scale 1,300 pounds. Comes here from the Sioux Center, that's in northwest Iowa, and he's he was so busy sleeping today, I didn't see if he had any time to eat. And also, Elvis was in the house today. There was a performance in Pioneer Hall by Elvis impersonator J.B. Brown. He was singing Don't Be Cruel and other Elvis hits, bringing the El some Elvis trivia to the crowd. And when he's not swinging and singing, he is the pastor at Eagle Vision Church in Des Moines. And also today uh, at the uh, Pioneer Hall was the annual husband calling contest. A bit of a twist on the winner for this year. Uh, the winner is Don Manier of Des Moines. She was calling for a husband. Hey, this is Don, single white female, 58 years of age, calling all single men between 40 and 60. I am looking for a husband. I am single, I work full time, own my own house. I am lonely. So somebody answer this damn personal. I want a husband now. And one longtime food stand was still serving up breakfast and pulled pork for lunch. The West Des Moines United Methodist Church, the last church food stand still at the fair. The money earned here important to the church mission. And all the proceeds go to different missions in our church and our community. Uh, so it's so important to our church uh, and I think to the tradition of the Iowa State Fair. I think we're particularly known for our breakfast, uh, biscuits and gravy, egg, or, uh, uh, egg sandwiches, uh, rolls and uh, donuts. Uh. And here at the State Fair again, it is still raining pretty good here. We've had a few claps of thunder. Kind of an exciting time when the uh, loudspeakers are calling everybody to take cover. I had a, a few hundred friends here with me on the porch about an hour ago. It was, uh, it was fun having a lot of people up here. Yes, cozy. All right, we're glad everybody yes. stayed safe. Thanks, Roger.